Welcome back, everyone. <clears throat> this one I wanted to do just, um, you know, just specifically goth oriented. The lyrics to Motherland by Corpus Delecti. And I thought I'd give you my insight on what I think the lyrics mean. All right. So, Motherland. Mother, I'm drifting in such a dust without its color. Mother, I'm dreaming of such a world, but I don't find you. So, Mother, I'm drifting in such a dust. It's like, so he's walking through the world and everything seems to be like in a blur, like um, things are not very well defined and and it's it's rigid, it's unclear. And, uh, you know, without its color, so there, there's no vibrant light, it's hard to navigate. Mother, I'm dreaming of such a world, but I don't find you. Like, he's dreaming of a better world, and through this fog and haze, he's looking for her, and yet, he can't find her anywhere. He says, you said be yourself, <coughs> but I can't fight this rolling thunder. So, you know, to be yourself um, is to walk with thunder, and it's hard to fight the resistance to be yourself. It's, it's much easier to go with the, the flow of the tide rather than against the flow of the tide. And I think many people do this because that's kind of the social expectancy, is that uh, you will conform. And he's saying, you know, you said be yourself, and so you be yourself, and find out being yourself is really, really difficult. You said free your soul, but life is not what you told. You know, like these things that he was taught as a child, you know, to be yourself and, and let yourself be free to express yourself individualistically you know just just be you and when you come to find that that's a really difficult task to do that, that people will fight you at every at every corner when you try to be yourself you you come to find life is not what you told just put your hands around me and heal me like you did when I was a child. So he's longing for that embrace of safety that he used to feel when he was a child, like even being told all this stuff. His mother would embrace him, as mothers often do, and made you feel safe like it was okay. Mother, you taught me how to share with other people. Mother, you swore me that I'll receive the hopes I have called. You know, basic principles of being good and kind and um, and that like The hopes that you have, the dreams that you have, can come true. And then he goes to say, You said love yourself, but I have saved this love for others. So, you know, being told to have self-respect and everything, 
but finding, you know, that uh, especially when you're deeply humanitarian, uh, that it's it's really easy to not love yourself and pick yourself apart and criticize yourself, and you, you honestly, with like lust and desire, it's it's very easy to reserve that love instead of for yourself, reserve it for others, and be lost in loneliness. So it's it's hard to love yourself in that stance. You said be honest, but honesty has turned me off. And and that's that's a cruel lesson too. Is that you know we're we're taught these these things to be a, a good person, to love yourself, um, to be yourself, and to be honest. But honestly, it, it seems like people don't really like honesty. They like confirmation bias, and people don't really want you to be honest. And so when you are like a very honest person, you tend to become self-reserved and it becomes harder to communicate with people. So honesty has turned me off. Just put your arms around me and rock me like you did when I was a child. <coughs> Again, more loving embrace. From his mother. In this land I am dwelling. In this land I am losing my way. So it goes back to, you know, the first part where he's talking about it's hard to come across this. This you know, drifting around in this world is like it's colorless, it's dreary, it's hard it's easy to lose your way and saying that uh, in this land that I'm dwelling, in this land I'm losing my way, in this land I am dwelling, this land. <sighs> Mother, it's tiring to give it all, and no one answers. So you're, you're giving everything that you can, and screaming at the top of your lungs, but your voice is like, transparent like a pane of glass it's like whispering into the storm because majority of people although they tend to care they they tend generally tend to be very cautious of people they don't know so that's rough when you're giving it your all and and no one answers mother it's cruel to let myself to evil angels so you you grow up thinking certain things about like what's right and wrong and come to find out some of the things that we look down on in society you end up you know, giving in to these temptations because they're tempting, they're tantalizing, they're pleasurable. So it seems kind of cruel that it's like the things that you love in life are, you know, tantamount to heresy or, you know, like a violation and something that you take great pleasure in and you love it, but you... It's like your hand is constantly smacked from it. You said no weakness, but I have lost the world's affection. And I think that's a deeply powerful line. You said no weakness, but I have lost the world's affection. So it's like you're strong and everybody turns their back on you. Nobody likes you. You're shunned, you're ostracized. You said, please yourself. I let it go with seasons. I'm not sure what he means by that.
but I imagine it, it's more along the lines of this whole like longing to be embraced and have safety and feel encouragement and you've lost it you've as you grow older it's it's like you know all this stuff like ends up just tearing you apart and gets you walked on and and people are basically that they're cruel he says just put your lips on my face and kiss me like you did when i was a child in this land i'm dwelling in this land, I'm losing my way. So ultimately, uh, I think this song is about how we grow up in society. <laughs> well, this goddamn cold. We grow up in society. <clears throat> And we're taught all these things. This is how the world is supposed to work. This is this is how society works. And then we go out as an adult and we find that's not how the world works. The, the, the world, like, if you were to actually succeed in society, you, you can't be an honest, loving, caring person. You have to roll over. You have to be able to roll over people and, and walk on them. And... When you can't do it, it's like you're constantly swimming against the tide. And, you know, I think he's just kind of at this point where it's like, I want to feel safe again. And, you know, that, that warm embrace of uh, motherly love. You know, that feeling of nurture. Because you, you don't get it outside of that. Ultimately, the message is like the world is a cruel and dark place. And I think that title is also interesting. Motherland is kind of a play on, on words, you know, of the fatherland. Um... So I think it's just kind of an anti-fascistic message, but almost fascistic in a way as well. It's kind of like a way of poking fun at mainstream society. Like, you know, nothing works out the way that you want it to or that you say that it will. And, you know, we're all suffering in some way, shape or form. And it's, it's hard to wade through the smog and the murky water. It's difficult. <clears throat> Melancholy. So I, I brought up this song in a previous video, and actually I did the eye makeup. Kind of like Sebastian from Corpus Delecti does as well as some of the attire I'm wearing. So since I brought up Motherland in a previous video, I thought I would actually read the lyrics and talk about what I think the song means and show you what the song actually says. Because most people out there, I don't think, well, unless you're goth, are actually going to go and look up Corpus Delecti's Motherland or even understand the lyrics. And here they are. So, uh, you know, comment in the comment section below, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell button on any channel you're subscribed to. With that, out.